Good morning. How y'all doing? It's Friday. Ex felons got a right to vote. This is for Assel Brooks with an ass. This is for Carmela Harris with an ass. We want to end Jim Crow 2024. We want to end this war on drugs. It's a war on our black community. Y'all not sending white people to jail the way y'all send black people to jail when crack hit our communities. The opioid epidemic hit the white community and y'all gave them treatment. Y'all still treating us. When fentanyl came, yeah. You still filling the penitentiaries up with black people, and that gonna stop. We talking about the crime bill from 1986, Bill Clinton. And Kwaisi and Fumi signed off on that. Kwaisi and Fumi also wrote me a letter. I was making a movie about Baltimore and the prison industry, and we're gonna start right here. That's Kwaisi and Fumi, and that's me. Right here, Maryland Department of Corrections, 2011. I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the corruption in the courts. Illinois and Maryland, city, county, and state, and federal levels. And these is the cases in Illinois and Maryland. And y'all got that February the 2nd, 2011. The state of Maryland knowingly lied to the public and incarcerated a whistleblower. That's Dwayne G. Davis, because don't nobody know my name. Everybody know me as Shorty. Right here. 2015, Director of Promotions and Arts in Baltimore, New York, Philadelphia, and Chicago. A documentary about the war on drugs. And we talking about our civil rights violations. Alright? That's Governor Larry Hogan. Alright? Larry Hogan made four billion dollars off the prison industry while he was in office. Now y'all trying to lock up our youth the same way you locked up locked up black America in 1986. Alright? That's President Trump. He trying to bring Project 2025. You got Project 2025 and Jim Crow. We're not gonna do that no more. Smiling faces, man. Smiling faces. Same thing make you laugh, make you cry. Black votes matter. Democrats and Republicans need black votes. So, Governor Westmore, everything you got before Election Day, you need to turn over. Same way Governor O'Malley had it. The same way Ehrlich had it. The same way Hogan got it. You got it. You got it. Raskin got it when he was here. All right? We talking about mass incarceration. And these are mail receipts, so we don't have no misunderstandings. All right? No misunderstandings. That's David Smith from Fox 45, the owner of Sinclair Broadcasting. All right? We're talking about the money he spends in Baltimore to pay these politicians, the play-to-play -play political machine. That's Mark Steiner, WEEA Radio. Mark Steiner, Dr. K, Ray Winbush, Doc T. Hickman. Like I said, the haves versus the have-nots. And I ain't having it no more. Did you use the toilet today? You're going to think about me tomorrow. It's my political soapbox. You feel me? That's my political soapbox. People say I smell like shit. And y'all voted for this shit. We flushing careers. Alright? That's my political soapbox. That's Epstein. And y'all going after Diddy? Y'all let Trump go for all, run for office? <clears throat> so am I. It's the Constitution. Like I said, same thing, make you laugh, make you cry. Did you use the toilet today? You're going to think about me tomorrow. Release all material to the voters before election day. Everything you got, the flag, the book, the hat. Exoneration of the Supreme Court. Activism ain't terrorism. You feel me? Starbucks and Shorty. All right, we got a hell of a story. And I'm getting ready to put these stickers on. You feel me? Social media for social change. Like Paul Revere said, one light by land, two lights by sea. I got one light. You're going to see me. You're going to see me and you're going to hear me. Exoneration of the Supreme Court. Release all materials for the voters before the election day. This is for Asselbrook with an ask. Do blacks have rights which white America respects? Pass the George Floyd bill. Repeal Dred Scott. 